Hey, what's up guys? Icebreaker back with another video for Warships. Today, we're going to be revisiting 5VR and the strategy that I'm using. In the last video, I was still using mostly Heavy Zooka with some Seekers and stuff thrown in. Well, totally changed that up now. I wasn't originally um, recommending the Seekers, but I've totally changed my mind and I'm going to totally recommend Seekers. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Just before we jump into Warships guys, if you're new to the channel and this is the first video you're watching, welcome to the channel. BBTFRG covers everything to do with Boom Beach, whether that be sneak peeks, fun ops, different strategies for Warships, Mega Crab, PvP, everything. Everything you can possibly think of for Boom Beach is right here on this channel. So if you're new, smash that subscribe button and make sure you don't miss the next video. Okay, let's jump into Warships. Well guys, as I said, I've picked up some extra tech since um, my last video. So what I've done is I've come back for the GBE node. I've currently tick four, I'm gonna be maxing that once I've got the tokens. And I picked up the heavy chopper, which originally I said I wasn't going to, but I've decided to go back for it. And it's been well and truly worth it. I'm really glad it did. It's totally changed the game and I'm now seekering everybody. Every single base is getting seekered regardless of the layout. So let's jump in and talk about the base. So this is quite a, a popular sort of layout theme that's happening at the moment. We've got the 1ER right up over the back here. That's usually the one that gets bited out if people are um, clip, do, doing a full clear and biting stuff. We've got two under the sky shield at the back here. That's to um, stop the Hail Mary flares when they get over this side. Uh, just to slow them down a bit and then obviously we've got all the shock mines between the ERs and the flamethrowers and the machine guns all that kind of good stuff um close to the ERs to counter seekers and then obviously we've got the boom cannons and that right in the middle um we've got the group of mortars over here that's to um counter seekers obviously if all these shoot at once they're going to take out a whole chunk of seekers um and then again the machine guns and stuff over here for countering the heavies and the zookas what may get through if people are doing full clears with that um, and then the mines normal mines are spread out um, out wide around the defences because when zookas are not full clearing they like to spread out a little bit and they spread out too much and they clip a mine and poof they're gone so that's kind of the thinking for um, the, the layout these two cannons are literally just covering the flight path between this ER and these ones, if someone is over here with rocket choppers and they hail Mary this ER, these two cannons here are going to pop them on their way past. Um, shock launchers are spread out a little bit more on this one because I want them to cover a wider area. Um, and this one's going to start shocking them as soon as they start um, hitting the beach. And the opponent's got to choose whether to shock it or bart it or whatever he wants to do with it. Um, but you can only get that one defense. You can't shock the boom cannon. You can't shock the mortar or anything like that um, in the same shock. So it's one shock bomb for one defense if they're going to do that, which is a waste of GBE. So that's the theory behind the layout, and it does work pretty well. But the big game changer here is the attacks. So let's jump in, and I'll show you how I'm secret peeps. Okay, so straight away, the loadout that I'm going with is 3-5 heavy choppers, bullet, and seekers. See that I've dropped two heavy choppers and then another one with bullet and I flared them over into the middle of the base followed by the seekers and I'm using taunt there to taunt up the defenses while they go for that and then once the seekers are here and I know they're about to take that ER I'm going to flare these troops from here over to here and this is for two reasons one it distracts all of these defenses and stuff which leaves the seekers to it and second of all is the heavies that are underneath the heavy choppers are going to clear the mines for the seekers. And obviously bullets in there and he's going to taunt up all the defences and all that kind of good stuff. Um, people are putting um, shot blasters and stuff under the sky shields. It's not a big, big deal. But once again, we're going to, um, as soon as these guys are getting the easy, these uh, ERs down, we're going to be flaring over and using taunt and stuff. As you can see, the Seekers are coming out there. And then once those guys get to there, we're gonna flare over to this one. And then we'll follow the Seekers. 
And if you've got any spare barrage left over, you can throw it on the ER as well, just to help speed things along. Okay, so same principle again. This is another one of the layouts of most of the ERs on the right. We're going to drop three heavy choppers and bullet. We flare them over into the middle of the base to clear some mines. And then we're going to drop four boats of three boats of um, seekers over to this left side so they go for this ER. And then a few boats over this side to go for that ER. We'll see, we're keeping bullet in the middle. You can see there that I've flared onto that shock launcher quite often when you've got the shock launchers quite close together. Uh, bullet ends up getting shot locked and you don't want that to happen. So if you flare onto one of the um, shock launchers, they'll take it down, reduces the shock and stops the chance of bullet getting shot locked and messing up. And then you just repeat the one shock on the shock launcher there. Watching for the seekers clearing the ERs. And then once they're onto that, you can flare over with the heavy choppers and bullet. Drop a shock on the flamethrowers and stuff around the ER. While they're doing that, these guys are on their way to the last ER. The seekers will still get there first before the heavies. But the heavies will clear all the mines and all that kind of stuff. And then you can just finish it off with GBE or use the heavy choppers. We'll watch one more. These these attacks are giving me times of around three minutes left on the clock. Um, I've had up as quick as 319 left on the clock on some layouts. Um, but it does take some practice to get used to how the heavies are going to peel around defences and stuff. And when to flare over and when not to. Um, it all comes down to timing as always. And um, keeping bullet in the fight is pretty key as well. You can see here that the shock blaster there um, is out of range of taunt. But um, luckily enough, we got away with that one anyway. But yeah, then you just cover them with some smoke, flare on to the next ER, get some troops going. Once the Seekers get there, flare on to the next one. And then it's just a case of waiting for the Seekers and the Heavies to get there. And if you've got any GB left over, drop it like a hot. So, like I said, for times, it's sort of 2.52 on that one, 2.57, 3 minutes 2, 3.19, that guy fizzled, 3.02. So, you know, you're looking at a good three minute, you know, a good attack is over three minutes left on the clock. An average attack is 2.55 to three minutes left on the clock, um, depending on the layout and how lucky you get with um, the mine clearing and the shock launchers and stuff like that. But it is really consistent once you find a rhythm, once you get used to using the heavy choppers and bullet to um, flare around and clear the mines and taunt up the machine guns, flamethrowers and shock launchers and stuff, and then you just let the seekers do their thing. So think of it as like you're um, using the heavy choppers just to flare around the map to clear the mines and taunt stuff and then just drop the seekers and let them do their own thing. Um, as long as, as long as the path's clear and things are taunted, they'll keep running around the base and destroy the ERs in no time. So yeah, that's my new strategy for 5ER. This is what I'm going to be using tonight on our live stream. We'll be live tonight at 8 o'clock UK time. Hope to see you then. But if not, no worries. We'll um, catch you in the next video anyway. Happy shipping, guys. Good luck.